Hello Pisces, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. All right, Pisces, we're gonna use a couple of these just to get some overall energies and then we're going to jump right into your tarot. I lay awake thinking of you and obstacles. I lay awake thinking of you and obstacles. We have ignoring here at the bottom of the deck. So you guys, there's somebody here who is very aware that there are some obstacles or some red flags or you know just challenges when it comes to this connection i don't think they don't care <laughs> they don't care pisces i feel like they're ignoring them it's like if they see red flags they're ignoring them if they see obstacles or challenges they're ignoring them we have this my life is not together at all so some of that could be um, what they're ignoring so maybe Pisces is like you could be having a hard time and maybe you're not in the place that you want to be and they're like they see that but they're just not letting it bother them or it could be vice versa right maybe they are you know have a lot like they're not in the space that they wanted to be to get into a relationship they have a lot of challenges or obstacles they have a lot going on in their life here um but they're like you know what it doesn't matter you know because I I, I want more with Pisces here okay um so I really feel, I don't want to say infatuation, but I definitely feel like somebody is really feeling their feels when it comes to Pisces. That even though they feel like there could be some issues, it's like they don't want to let that get in, they don't want to let that get in the way. Now, I do think for some of you guys where this person has a lot going on, it's feeling very much like a uh, ten of wands, like where this person just has a lot that they have to deal with. It's like hoping that you can be um, patient and understanding with them here. All right, we got the six of wands that just flew out. We'll see if it finds its way back out into your reading. If somebody wants this to be successful and they feel like it can be with that six of wands. We have the three of pentacles. The queen of cups. The eight of wands. The ten of swords. The Two of Swords and the Star. We got the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck for their general overall energy. So it's, to me, this could be like somebody trying to be very head over heart or try to figure out, you know, logically, like, is this something that can work? Is this something that makes sense? But I, I do kind of like this. The Three of Pentacles to me, in the area of their thoughts, to me, this is like wanting to work together with you, wanting to come up with a plan, wanting to make sure that you guys are on the same page, but it's a card of potential as well. Um, it says that this person sees that there's a lot of potential. Are there obstacles? Are there things that, you know, maybe you're both dealing with right now or things in the connection? Absolutely. But they really do think if you guys can work together that you guys can, over, you can accomplish this. We have the queen of cups. Like I said, I feel like somebody is really just in their feels when it comes to you. Um, I also feel like somebody feels like you are very caring, you're very compassionate, you're very understanding. And maybe that's why they're like, you know what, I think we can get through this because I know that, you know, Pisces is going to be understanding about this situation that I'm going through here or this problem that I have. Maybe I feel like somebody could have experienced a loss. This could be maybe they lost their place, their car, their job. Like there could be something like that here with this Ten of Swords. Or maybe they went through, you know, or they're still going through a divorce or they just went through some kind of major ending and they're still having a little bit of a struggle. Um, and it's like, you know, they feel like you are caring and you are understanding enough that, you know, I feel like it'll be OK. I feel like Pisces is really going to understand. We have the Two of Swords for their next action towards you. So the Two of Swords is a little bit indecisive here. Their intention seems to be the Eight of Wands, which is like, to me, it's feeling like a couple things here. One, I feel like this person has something they want to say to you, but with this Two of Swords being their next action, I feel like they're a little bit afraid, okay? Um... 
And that could just be, you know, afraid of how it's going to be received or, you know, because they really want this with you. You know, they're, they're hoping that, you know, you're going to have a certain reaction to it. I feel like there is something they want to tell you. And this could be like, hey, Pisces, you know, I'm still a little bit messed up about this. Or, hey, Pisces, I just I lost my job or whatever it is here um, that they're wanting to share with you. You know, I feel like they're, on one hand, they're hoping, even the star card, really hopeful, right, that you're going to be patient or you're going to be understanding or it's not going to be a deal breaker for you here. Um, but I feel like that fear, you know, because they want because they really want this with you, that fear kind of holds them back a little bit. The Eight of Wands can definitely just be they have the intention of having that conversation with you. The Eight of Wands to me can also be a card of direction. So this person could, you know, just want have the intention of being very clear with you about where they see this going or what they want for this connection. Like, okay, yeah, I might be here and I might have this issue or this obstacle, but this is where I can see us going. You know, this is what my plan is. This is what I want for us here. So there could be a conversation coming up. This person could be having a, wanting to have a conversation coming up with you about where this is going, okay, or what their intentions are. We have the star card for the potential outcome, which I really like. It can be a card of healing, wish fulfillment, hope, renewal. So... You know, I feel like if this person can push past the fear to have this conversation with you, I feel like they may be right. I feel like you may be understanding. You guys may be able to, three of pentacles, this uh, come together and find a way to, you know, overcome this together. Now, the signs that I'm seeing here, I see Aquarius, I see Capricorn, Cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra. Those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any, okay? Um, it is a general reading, so even if I do not mention a specific sign, the reading can definitely still resonate for you, okay? But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. And everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next.